We're following up on some Battletech narrative here in the comments from a vlog a couple of days ago where I mentioned, so far I've been pretty good. I've been pretty good. Uh, I started this mercenary company a while ago, and the, the narrative, the background narrative was the, the kind of typical space gambler, won a hand, got control of a small moon. Um, essentially, it was a wasteland, a ruined city within the city. He found some lost tech, a battle tech showroom of Kong industry mechs. Um, essentially, I wanted to be able to play all the Ost class mechs, and it was going to be led by a Mackie on there. I regularly feel the Mackie just for the lulls. And in order to control my impulse buying, in order to control my impulse buying, I told myself in the narrative, so I've got these six or seven mechs to, to build it, and a couple of tanks, some demolishers, some infantry, Karnoff, things like that. But if I want to add stuff to this mercenary company, then as I play Battletech, just, just pick up games or whatever, if I blow up an opposing mech, then in my mind, I'll allow myself to salvage it and give myself permission, justification, to go out and physically buy that mech and add it to the collection. So uh, in a game a little while ago, in a game I was playing, I was able to destroy a Battlemaster. So that means now, real time in the game, just, just kind of this idea of a narrative, not a campaign, just a narrative in my own mind, building that history of my mercenary company, um, I can now go out and physically buy a Battlemaster on there. And, and just to kind of see where it, it goes on there. And the question was, in following that narrative, what about the tech level on there? So would it be possible to salvage or add a mech further ahead on the timeline or perhaps a little bit backwards on the timeline and this narrative that i was playing was just kind of for myself there's no hard or fast rules and um certainly i think one of the great things about BattleTech is you have the freedom to jump around different time periods i will only speak for myself in this moment then i'll turn it over to you guys in the comments uh, i do see things changing massively for myself once Catalyst starts delivering, as of this podcast, the, the Kickstarter, I'm, I'm like 80% Inner Sphere Succession Era type battle tech on there. And in terms of the clans, um, it's kind of Invasion, the start of the Invasion, Jade Falcon on there. That's not to say I might not play a game a little bit after that where we have some lost tech introduced or some of the classic mechs uh, like the Stalker have been upgraded with clan technology. Um, but the other eras, I don't play them as much, really. That's not to say I don't jump around. But I would see nothing wrong with a narrative, a self-imposed challenge narrative, where as you obtain various machines and mechs through playing, the next time you sit down to the game, ask yourself, okay, when I'm building my list on the battle value, you know, what era am I playing in? And if it's that tech level, then you utilize those mechs that you have. And again, this is not a campaign. This is not like something serious. This was just a little bit of fun for myself to um, actively participate in this mech company and organically see how it grows and, and build that history behind the models, as opposed to the usual Fritz thing, which is like, okay, I'm going to start a new mercenary company. And, you know, it's only going to be like six or seven battle mechs because I've got a, an idea I really want to kind of focus on and then next thing you know you're like like 30 mechs in and you're like what the heck happened on there and now you're like well if i've got this many mechs i need some vehicles so then you're like 10 vehicles in and you're like well i need infantry on there i mean it just grows and grows and grows so i want it to be a more organic process